field for eight years with three lives under my belt. I am proud of my work to serve others and speak today on behalf of my sisters and my brothers at my union, SEIU Healthcare Illinois. The Republican tax bill is nothing but a complete scam. Every single working person in the country is being deceived by this Republican party of the horrific and irresponsible legislation that will hurt working families. Every single working person in this country is being deceived. How is it possible that the Republican tax bill will force working people to pay more in taxes and cut Medicare by $25 billion? Next year alone, just to give the riches an unnecessary tax cut. Why are seniors and low-income families and college students and healthcare workers just like myself, the ones who are being hurt and told to sacrifice? My friends, we the American people are being conned by the Republican in Congress and the President Trump. And yes, that includes Congressman Peter Ross and the entire Illinois Republican delegation. And of course, billionaire Governor Bruce Browner. I challenge Governor Browner and Congressman Rossman. No, I dare you. Yes, I said it. I dare you. To show their faces at a community forum and explain their support for this tax cut. That will hurt seniors and working families. Because in order to pay this tax scam, the Republicans will slash our health care. That means 13 million people will lose their health care. Insurance according to the Congressional Budget Office. Virtually everyone's health premium will go up too. Premiums for people over 50 will increase up to 150. 1500 per year because of this help repeal according to AARP. How in the world does that make any sense? Why does our billionaire Governor Bruce Rauner deserves an estimate 300 million tax cut to escape paying any inheritance taxes along with tax breaks and benefits? Him. Ooh, that ain't right. As that someone who is dedicated my work to improving quality and affordable health care, we should be expanding access to Medicare and Medicaid right. and provide yeah. living wages to health care workers. That's right. right. Not slashing these programs. That's right. We should be demanding the richest one percent pay their fair share in taxes and That's invest right. in our communities right. to create good paying jobs. Not giving tax cuts to millionaires and billionaires. We need to lift the crushing burdens of students' loan debts off the back of our college students. That's right. Not saddle them with more loans to give tax breaks to large corporations. If Donald Trump and the Republican tax scheme enacted, we will absolutely not forget this betrayal to working families. Right. And to the Republicans who sided with the richest 1% and large corporations who fleece our communities, there will be a reckoning and accountability in next year's elections at the polls.